Hey, I just want to take a quick second to go over that exercise for the fingers that will help develop bar cords and a little bit more muscle memory. The kind of muscle memory that develops at the same time with the spider exercises of being pointy notes or flat notes. So. So let's start with those spiders. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. That's what I do every time when I start my exercises, all right? And then we're gonna take all the chords that we know, like the D major, and keep this solid move that to a D minor. After D we have E major. So we've got this. We're going to play E major in both of our fingerings. And after E minor we have E, uh, e major. We get the E minor by taking off the G sharp. I can play that with all my different fingers too. Yeah. Then after E major we have F major. So this. We can play it like this or we can play it like this. Today's lesson is going to be helping with that. It's an F major, and then for an F minor, we just remove the, the third for the minor. After an F major, we have a G major, or and then a G minor, or a G minor. After a G, we have an A major, which is what we worked on today, and then an A minor. So the idea with the A minor and the A majors, A major has the C sharp, A minor has the C, but we can't go like this. We need to move our fingers in there. So what I do is I take these chords and I try and go one, two, three, four. One, sorry, one, and then I move the shape and I count four on this hand. So every one, I'm ready to change that. What you're gonna find is it's not gonna be as hard to switch this A minor shape back and forth when you've got it at one, two, three, four. Two. See how quick we're moving in between there? And then you can do it half notes. Two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. See how it's quicker? The movement is quicker than the actual rhythm. So what you're doing is you're actually keeping this steady and moving this independently and faster. You're rewriting your brain hemisphere to tell your brain to go, your left brain's going, or your right brain's telling your left hand to go, move, <laughs> while your right brain's telling your, or your left brain's telling your right hand to keep going steady. It's a very hard process, but after you get that basic concept, everything else in rhythm just becomes dynamics and placement of notes. So what we're working on today with the major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, we're just calling a little bit of flavor and spice to all the different intervals of our scale. There's only seven notes, and when we put them together, we know that the first, the third, and the fifth make up a triad. The sixth is a minor and the seventh is a diminished, which resolves back. So in the key of C, we'd have C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor. Then we'd have something called a B diminished. In a B diminished, we've got a B, an F, and a D. So here's our F, here's our B. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's our B? Hear that? And then that resolves to the. Hear how it goes in correlation where it's falling off of a ledge, a half step to it? That brings us to the idea of being able to play all of our different majors as minors. F major is an F minor, G major is a G minor, A major is an A minor, um, B major is a B minor. Um, when we get through all these different fingerings, we'll be talking about our sevenths, diminished, and dominant, and then our sus, two and four. But you've got a pretty good grasp on that. So in the key of, uh, of A major, an A major sus4, A, B, C, D. So in the key of A, add a D over the top, which is this. So that's an A major sus4. Say if I want to do this A major sus4 to a C major sus2. I would play A major with the D in there, and then I 
play a C major, but the sus two is a D over the top. So I'd have then to a C major, but I keep that D. So if I went back and forth from an A major with the the fourth in there to a C major with the fourth in there, it would sound like this. So these are concepts built out of the chords we have, but all we're looking to do is take that A major, scoot that A major up to a B, and then make that B a B minor, so we could hear the do, re, mi, fa, so. Yeah, and then we have our F sharp, uh, la, T. Then we need our seventh note, so. A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp. So we've got our G sharp, which is here. And it resolves to our A major. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through why the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, and the seventh have a different feeling. And they're just gonna correlate with our different exercises. So keep with the spider exercises. Make sure we can play of our, all of our chords and the different fingerings. And then being able to hear the sevenths. D major, D major seven. Seven. Along those lines, we could work through every chord that does that. G major, G major seven, G dominant seven, E major, E major seven, E dominant seven. The list goes on, but you only have to know seven chords. <laughs> anyway, it's good seeing you this week. Buzz if you have any questions, and I'll see you next week. Aloha.